Hi guys and ladies, today I'm going to attempt a dish suggested by my good friends Jonathan and Wendy. Here on YouTube they're together known as Foodie Wish 2. Although they haven't posted a video yet, they do leave the most positive, gracious and forgiving comments on my videos and many other cooking videos. Apparently Jonathan has lived for a while in Brazil and he loves this dish. So in honor of Jonathan and Wendy, who by the way are celebrating their anniversary this week, let's give it a whirl. So I searched the internet for hours trying to find a mocheca that I could be able to prepare. And it wasn't easy. You see, in the ingredient list of some recipes, they refer to another recipe. Don't you hate that? Add one fourth recipe of pre-pre. What? Or the ingredients are just bizarre. Add five tablespoons of dende oil. What? Dem days oil? How, how about the manioc and cassava and farfola and farofa and huh? I finally found a recipe that might be within my very limited grasp. So the recipe says I'm to use a green and a red bell pepper, but I'm using a red, a yellow, and an orange. Three as opposed to two because I want to bulk this up. I can't serve it over rice because I'm on a low carb diet. Here I'm chopping up a dozen grape tomatoes. Well, I've got my veggies chopped and sliced and now I'm chopping bluegill fillets, about a pound and three quarters here. And I'm doing them into chunks of like, oh, one to two inches. And strips are good too, according to the directions. You know, the original recipe says to use any firm whitefish like cod or snapper, but my freezer is just loaded with uh, bluegill fillets. I don't see why a fisherman couldn't use, well, any kind of uh, whitefish like uh, catfish, crappie, yellow perch, bass, walleye. It just doesn't seem to matter. And I'll bet anything that in Brazil, they use piranha. I'm a little nervous now because I have a special guest coming over. My friend, Miss Lulu Cheeks. She's the famous uh, restaurant and food critic. I've been wanting to pose an important question to her. I'm so shy though, I, I don't know if I'll have the courage. The directions say to use a big fry pan with high sides. I've got a huge fry pan here and the sides seem high enough. I need to pour in four tablespoons of olive oil. So let's get the show on the road. According to the directions, we're to turn the heat up on this skillet to medium whatever that is, so I guess maybe 250. Now we're to add the onion we sliced and stir for five minutes. The directions say to stir frequently and don't let it burn. Okay, so it's been five minutes and now it's time to add those peppers. Okay, here we're supposed to uh, dice up some tomatoes and add them to the mix, but I've got this uh, diced tomatoes with 
lime juice and cilantro. And I know lime juice comes into play later. So I'm just going to put in this can. What I've done is I've lowered it to medium low per the directions and I've got to let it simmer for 20 minutes until everything is nice and soft. Well, it's been 20 minutes, so it's time to add a can of coconut milk. This is organic. I don't understand organic. And a tablespoon of tomato paste. Well, it's thickening up nicely. It's luscious looking. Now I'm supposed to season our concoction with salt and pepper. I'm bringing it back up to a boil as per the directions. So while this is percolating away, I'm going to make a salsa as called for. Okay, the first thing we have going here is one chopped onion. Now I'm using those 12 cherry tomatoes I chopped. This is one tablespoon of red wine vinegar, per the directions. Now the juice of one half lime. Oh, this gadget. That's about one tablespoon. Now the half teaspoon of crushed garlic. I don't like chopped garlic so much. It gets in my teeth. Now a teaspoon of your favorite hot sauce. Now I need to add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. Well, what's better than olive oil? Now you don't need to do this, but I'm adding a teaspoon of cilantro paste. Okay, let's say we stir this all together. You know what? I didn't see salt or pepper. I can't find this in the recipe, but it just doesn't seem right without a little salt. I'm just going to keep this cold in the refrigerator until Miss Lulu Cheeks comes. She's bringing the cilantro. So now it's time for the star of our show. I'm going to dump the fish into the vegetables and coconut milk. I've turned the heat up to 250 and we're supposed to stir occasionally for a full seven minutes until the fish is opaque. Well, I'm shocked. I'm shocked to learn this. This really smells good. I think it's ready to plate up now. You could see it really did cook up nicely. I'm going to transfer it to the serving platter. Mamma mia, that's a nice mocheca. And also that's a nice salsa too. I'm not exactly sure what to do with the salsa, but I think after you put this stuff on your plate, you put the salsa on top. <laughs> Miss Cheeks, uh, oh, I can call you Lulu, yeah. right? Oh, okay. Fine now, uh, yes. I, uh, thank you. Um, yeah, this plate is too uh, hot yes. to pick up, yes. but would you like to try my sure. moqueca? This was suggested by Jonathan and Wendy. Okay. Could you handle that? Oh, that is delicious. Is it? I haven't tasted it. Is it really? Mm -hmm. Now, apparently you're supposed to put the salsa on your plate on top or eat it on the side or something. So, um... It's lovely. Could and I... the cilantro is very tasty. Could I have a hug? And may I say that it smelled delicious when I walked in, so it's not only eye appealing and taste appealing, it's nose appealing. Just like you are appealing. Thank you. Mm. Uh, Miss Cheeks? Yes. I, I, I mean, Lu <laughs> Lulu. Lulu. Yes. There is really something that I'd like to ask you that's important. Okay. 
I, could I hold your hand? Yes. Um, would, would you like a glass of lemonade? Oh, yes. <laughs>